Hello everyone and welcome to another Modswell video. I've just released my latest order so I'm back on the top fives until I'm ready to drop the next one, which for those of you curious will be vampires and werewolves. This will also be a non usef order, I have no problems and regularly use the unofficial patch myself but I've had a few requests for this so I thought it was about time I obliged, but that's enough waffle now, let's get on to the mods. First up we have Resident Evil Undead. This mod is infuriating and hilarious fun all at the same time. Simply put, you cannot fully kill the Draugr. They will continuously rise from the dead and assault you. They rise after 10 to 50 seconds, which can have you in a tricky spot, but not to fear. This mod includes Arcade's Destruction, which will allow you to permanently put them down. The spellbook can be found in Whiterun's Hall of the Dead, and when used against the Draugr who has fallen, will just turn them to ash. This mod has a sister version called Dark Souls 3 Undead, which is far friendlier. In that iteration, they will only rise once, so you don't have to manage the fights as well as in this one. However, the unlimited reanimations is the brand new version that was just reached us on the Bethnet, so I'll talk about that a little bit more. Personally, I think this will suit any light side build. The Stendar character would be perfect, and alongside Stendar Rising and Winter Sun, will be a great place to start your Undead Slayer order. And here's another bonus. At only 104 kilobytes, it will be really easy to fit in. In my version of the logical load order, this falls under existing enemy edits. In the traditional LLO, I put this under game mechanics, but please be warned, this is going to make your game that much harder. Spell rotations will be required to finally put down the enemy, and if you have any spawn increases, you might find yourself in a truly difficult spot to get out of. Enjoy! Moving on to fourth place. Here I've gone for Zero King Creature Retexture Bundle in 1k. This bundle is going to be giving some of the more forgotten spawns a glow up, specifically Seekers, Lurkers, Storm Antronauts, Dunavir, Spriggans, Ash Spawns and Guardians. Whilst retextures are available for these spawns already, having them bundled together like this makes hitting every texture that stage easier, and the selections made for each of the creatures are really good. A huge improvement on the vanilla textures. The Spriggan has a really great glow, the Antronauk has more detailing, Seekers look menacing, basically the textures fit in with the general aesthetic of the creature so once again I'm really happy with the choices made here. A Spriggan happens to be one of my favourite spawns in the game, and I've tried just about every rework you could think of and these stand up to everything I've seen. At the time of writing this there is only a 1k version of this mod, but the description states a 2k is on the way. Naturally, this is going to cost a little bit more than the 22.2 megabytes we currently have to spend. There really isn't much to say about retextures. They look similar, but much, much better. For my LLO, put this in spawn retextures. For the traditional LLO, general meshes and textures would be the right spot. And remember to leave a comment with what your favourite spawn is and your favourite retexture for it. Simply because I'm curious and it helps my video. For third place, I've chosen Vokri Extended. I am a huge Inacian fan, and that's been made pretty apparent by my load orders. Vokri is likely my favourite perk overhaul, so I've never complained about what being added to it. In this instance, the edits are meant to expand on Vokri and make it stronger in the end game. What has essentially been done is additional stages to certain perks. For example, in the Alchemy Tree, Precision, Benefactor and Poisoner have all been granted extra stages, taking their end total up to 40% increases on their respective effects. These kind of edits have happened pretty much across the board, with around 35 new perks being added. They fall under Alchemy, Alteration, Archery, Block, Destruction, Enchanting, Heavy and Light Armor, One and Two Handed, Restoration, Sneak and Speech. I have left a link to the mod so you can check out the new benefits to be had for the high level characters. This mod is going to suit people who are truly into specialising their builds. For example, the ever popular and infamous Sneak Archer will benefit from increases to Deadly Aim, Far Shot and Short Shot. There really is a ton going on though, and that is going to lead to more powerful builds overall. Vokri has always felt like it ends that little bit too quickly to specialise your build. Something its main competitor Ordinator, which is also by Anacian, simply doesn't suffer from. And whilst Vokrinator is available for a solid increase on Vokri, I feel like this is more approachable. And for only 36.8 kilobytes and two mod slots, because yes, you will need Vokri for this, you're going to save 20 megabytes and a mod slot over the Vokrinator combo. Simply slot this under Vokri in the perk section of your logical load order. This is just something I've had to edit in, so I hope my voice matches the previous lines. An all-in-one for Vokrinator has just been released, so that will save on the mod slots. 
I'm still siding with Vokri Plus Extended, but I thought I should pass on the news. Moving on to both second and first place, as a two for one special. Here we have Simply Realistic Weapons 1K512 and Simply Realistic Armors 1K512. For PC, these are called Simply Realistic Armors and Weapons. These, as I'm sure you've guessed, are going to replace the meshes and textures for all of your in-game gear. I see them as an alternative to Old Kingdom weapons and armor overhauls, but for a damn sight less, with the weapons module coming in at 114.9MB, which is considerably less than Old Kingdom's 535MB and the armor module coming in at 559.5 megabytes which is actually a bit more expensive than old kingdom however due to sleeves being given out to each set as well as the difference between vanilla and modded being more extreme with realistic these are a lot more fun in my opinion each of the mods are largely using assets from nord war ua who i am a very big fan of but instead of choosing nwua's more fantastical armors bracker has instead opted for the more realistic set and these fit in perfectly with the Norse and medieval themes of the game. I am currently using these alongside Shalador's armaments and elaborate textiles also to fill out what's missing. The artifacts in Shalador's does a fantastic job of making those unique items a damn sight more unique, which is something Old Kingdom does already. Although Shalador's also includes edits to the effects as well, and elaborate textiles is simply there to cover the clothing. This is where it differs from variations, which covers clothing as well. But I'm here to talk about Simply Realistic, so let's get back on track. The armor module is covering, well, all of it. From iron to daedric, fur to elven, and literally everything in between. The choices made are fantastic too, with the Stormcloaks being more padded and warm clothes, and the Imperials in a more Roman-style uniform. Each selection is top tier, and for me, this is the new go-to mod for armor replacement. There is much the same story going on with the weapons, but I'll have to be more specific here because the selections are from a wider array of authors. Here we get the Dragonbane and Akaviri swords from Skyhunter and Praedith. The silver weapons have been replaced by Kimono's Witcher weapons. The other weapons have been filled out with the Simply range, which includes Simply Elegant Ebony weapons, Simply Brutal Daedric weapons, Simply Stylish Steel. There's really a lot going on again, so I will leave a link below so you can check out exactly what's on offer. Some of you may have noticed this basically opened up with a 1 star rating. I felt the need to try it for myself and I have to say 1 star is about 4 stars too harsh in my opinion. I went and threw my 5 star rating up because that's what I think it deserves. Finally, load order placement. Throw these under general meshes and textures if you're using the traditional LLO, if you're using my LLO, and make sure it's under weapons and armor textures for the best results. Just be sure it's lower than ultimate dodge mod or movement behaviors enhanced. This is because UDM interferes with Nord War UA's armors for some reason, and leaves them vanilla if it's lower than the armor sets. But on that nugget, I am going to call it. I'm having a ton of fun playing on my new load order, and if you'd like to try it out, you'll find it linked in the description. As well as this, I've left links to useful resources for modding, such as my Discord and the Skyrim Xbox Mod subreddit. You'll get plenty of modding assistance in these places. I've also left a link to my Buy Me A Coffee account for anyone who wants to donate to the channel, but of course there's zero pressure on that. If this video has been helpful, I'd really appreciate those likes, comments, and of course subscriptions. They really help push my work out further with the YouTube algorithm. I swear these outros are getting longer every single time, but that is it for me today. I hope you all have a good week and I hope to see you next Friday.